Shalom, Shalom. We give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and Shalom to the elect by Hashem, Rukh and the Holy Spirit. Say peace and blessings unto you. Hopefully, uh, you're in good spirits. It's your brother Shema Ma from the D.C. camp. Uh, bringing out this uh, this video uh, for the edification of the house of Dawah Da. Hopefully, it will be edifying. Um, we know this man who walked the earth 2,000, over 2,000 years ago, named Yahweh Shai. And what he brought to the earth was at least the most interesting thing what man can think of. He gave us a way of eternal life. He gave us the understanding on how to obtain eternal life. So you, you must ask yourself in these days, in these last times, with all the things going on in the world, people washing up on shore, people homes being destroyed by hurricanes and earthquakes, people getting sucked in sinkholes. If you're not seeking everlasting life or salvation from destruction, you're not walking. You're sitting. Lord, how can we know the way? Let's get this first scripture. This is John 14 and 5. John 14, verse 5, it says, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Same question. We need to know the way that you're going, Lord. We need to know the way. Like when you read up above, right? He's going to prepare a place, a mansion he's talking about. Don't let your heart be troubled. These are all of the things a man of Israel is supposed to be seeking. Not only a man of Israel, all the world. But it was only given to a certain people, the elect of the nation of Israel, to find that way and to be receiving these ways. So again... How can we know the Lord is what Thomas said. How can we know the way? Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. This is what he said. When you read it, red letters, he said he is the way. Meaning, you must follow what he done. His father, right, by evidence, through evidence, had raised him from the dead after he was killed, hung on a cross and died. Everyone saw it, everyone who was there, and those who heard about it. He is the way. There is no other way. There is no other man to follow but this man right here who was given and shown the way to salvation. It said, if you had known me, you should have known my father also. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the father if it suffices thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, have I been so long with you or so long time with you? And, ha and yet has thou not known me, Philip? He that have seen me has seen the father and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? He comes in the stead of the Father. He comes in the will of the Father. He did the will of the Father. How can you not know him? How can you not see him? How can you not understand the will of the Heavenly Father? The way in which you should go. Verse 10 said, Believeth thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. So all of this, the way, is through Yahweh Shai, right? And the will is of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. 
This is his ancient name in the Hebrew. This is a, one of the things you have to know in order to find your way and to find your path and to know which way to go. You must know the names of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son. This is just the basics of your path or your journey in which you must go. Verse 11 said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe for the very work's sake. The very works is the salvation, the resurrection of the body back into the body after being dead for three days, after being laid in a sepulcher, walked among the brethren, ate and drank with them. You see, this is the way choose choose this path, this this is a, 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 a it manifests itself in which way you should go. When it says show, right? It says show me strong. strong. G 1166 Dyke Nuo Dyke Nuo Dyke Nuo and what it says down here to show the exposed to the eyes a metaphor to give evidence or proof of a thing to show by words or teach this is what we're supposed to be doing for the elect we're supposed to be showing them what we've been shown teaching them what we've been taught no, not deviating from the path. If you deviate from the path, the ones who follow you are going to deviate from the path. You deviate from the Heavenly Father's will and how he laid it down through Yahweh Shai, who the world called Jesus. You will go off. So the true way and the true understanding of which way to go. The GPS to the to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Creator, the, the, the real GPS is through following the Son's ways. Hebrews ten and verse one it says, For the law having a shadow of think good things to come and not the very image of the things, can never with, with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the comers unto perfect, there unto perfect. Meaning the law couldn't make you perfect it. It showed you the way. It gave you a path. But it says it was a shadow of good things to come. Now, what is a shadow? A shadow is the outline of the image that it's reflecting. It's not the image, it's not the actual thing, but it's a reflection and outline of the thing in which it's casted. That's what a shadow is. You see your shadow on the floor, that's the shadow is not you, but it's the outline of you. It has the same shape, the same uh, a look, but it's not you. We don't follow shadows. We follow the image. For then would they, have, would they not have ceased to be offered? Because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscious of sins. Because the sacrifices that you gave for your sins, the turtle dove, the lamb, the bullock, should have said to you, don't do it no more. However, verse 3, but in those sacrifices, there's remembrance again made of sin every year. This is the atonement. We just went through the atonement. The atonement was, you did this last year. You did these things last year. Don't do them again. But it's, it's a constant reminder of your sins. A constant reminder of your sins weigh you down. Scripture. That's why the scripture said, don't let your sins weigh you down. 
Ephraim thou would have not, but a body has thou prepared for me. And burnt offerings and sacrifices. For the sins thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come in a volume of a book. It is written of me to do the will of the Heavenly Father. This is Yahweh Shai. Above, when he said sacrifice and offerings, again, the offering for the atonement of sins was Yahweh Shai. By the which will we are sanctified through the body through the offering of the body of Yahweh Shai once and for all. He only had to do it once. This took away the sin from off a person, from off a man. Once. He's not going to do it again. He only did it once. And every priest, that's why you have to remember, you have to understand we, Israel, did an atonement every year, and it remember and it made people remember what you did that past year. Yahweh Shai did it once and for all, where you could remember. And every priest stand up daily, ministering and offering, oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins. forever sat down on the right hand of the heavenly father and that's the point he did it once once and for all this is john 4 and 34 yahweh shai said unto them my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish the work the showing the promises the observation through the eyes the remembrance of what he did and what he came to do. John 6 and 38. John 6 and 38. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which have sent me, that of all which, hath, which he have given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. That's the elect. This is why he did it. This is part of the will. And that this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him, that observation, that showing, right, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Speaking about the elect, the one who saw the one who was exposed, the one that was given evidence and proof, the showing and the teaching of the words through the prophets, through the understanding. This is why he said, I come in a volume of the book. Moses, Isaiah, Ezekiel, all the prophets of the old, even in the Torah, was prophesied of the Messiah coming to do this, to make this happen. This Shiloh in, in, in Genesis, the 49th chapter, the lawgiver should not be taken from amongst, from uh, between his feet until Shiloh come, Yahweh Shai. This is Luke 24 and 23. It says, and when they found out his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. Remember, they went to the sepulcher on the third day. They found a stone rolled back. Two angels said, he is not here. Go tell your brethren. 
And a certain of them which were with us went to the sepulcher and found it, even so as the women have said, but he saw them not. Then, then he said unto them, Fools, O oh fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Now I'm reading in red. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Ought not the anointed to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Did you not remember? Did you not remember reading? Was you not taught this in the Psalms? In the prophets? In the Torah? In the Psalms, in the songs, was you not taught this? And beginning at Moses, it says, did I read the 26 a lot? Ought not Yahweh Shai have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scripture, the things concerning himself. This man that was walking with them, when he said, why are you so troubled? Why are you so troubled when you read up in this chapter, Luke 24? Why are you so troubled? Haven't you heard? Were you a stranger? This man who did no wrong, who did no sin, was put, put, to, put to death? Where, where you been? Under a rock? Why you are concerned about this? Haven't Moses, the prophets, taught you? That these things was going to come? Didn't I myself, he didn't say it, but didn't I myself teach you that I was going to be crucified, led to the slaughter, and rise on the third day? Why you trouble? So this is why in Acts, right, when you read the, the, the first and second book of Acts, that the revealing was given to them later on. This revealing was, was given to them later on and he expounded of himself. This is when their eyes was opened. This is when they actually understood and, and were shown. This is Isaiah 53. Talking about Yahweh Shai is not written about in the Old Testament yet. This is Isaiah 53 and 1. Have, who has revealed believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed to the elect for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground he that have no form no comeliness and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him because the Lord came lowly riding upon an ass on, on, on a colt the cult of an ass. He came lowly. The scripture said that he wasn't going to come any type of beauty. He wasn't going to come with, with rubies and jewels like he did in previous lives or in, in one previous life. He didn't come like Solomon with all the riches and all the wonders. and He didn't come that way. He came humbly, lowly, and meek. Nobody desired him. This is talking about Yahweh Shai, Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid as if it was our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the Most High, and afflicted being on that cross, taking that punishment. But he was wounded for our transgressions. This is the atonement. He was bruised for our iniquities, our sins, according to breaking the law. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. This is the truth. This is the way. This is the truth, and he is the way. Matthew 11, and verse 27. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, in red letters again, 
and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whosoever the Son will reveal him. This is the revealing. This is the showing. This is the way. Through his words. Come unto me all that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Learn of me. For I am meek and lowly at heart. And you shall find rest unto your souls. Rest for your souls. Rest for the burdens of the sins. Put them on the Lord. This is what he was given for. Just like you did upon the, uh, upon the bull, the lamb, the sheep, the turtle dove. You did the same thing then. But this time, all the burden is to the Lord, Yahweh Shai. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It's not a hard problem to learn of Yahweh Shai. It's not a hard problem to learn of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai. He is the God of comfort, peace, joy, and for your salvation. Come, we give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and Shalom to you uh, throughout the four corners of the globe. The elect by Hashem Rekakadash and the Holy Spirit for the edification and the building of the house of Dawadah. Um, until next time, Shalom.